morning, everyone. This is Chaitali Bhak, Chief of Bureau with Aviation and Defense Universe. In our chat room today, we have Mr. Rafiq Sumani. Mr. Sumani, who is the Area Vice President for ANSYS India and South Asia Pacific. Mr. Sumani has been with ANSYS for a long time, and he is looking after the sales development across the key verticals of ANSYS, such as automotive, industrials, aerospace and defense, and consumer infrastructure. Mr. Sumani holds a master um, in marketing management from Bombay University, and most importantly, he's very passionate about working towards the social causes. He was the chairman of the Aga Khan Education Service India, and he began his career with Minicom Computers. He has also worked with Tata Consultancy Services, and currently, uh, ANSYS is providing software which assess the engineering simulation for product development across various engineering sections. We welcome Mr. Somani to our chat room. And also here, I would like to mention that ANSYS is participating in IEEE MAPCON, a conference that is happening currently in Bangalore, where a lot of like-minded people are working, the universities and the students are working towards the capabilities of enhancing the technologies for your space and defense, as well as many other sectors. So welcome to our chat room, sir. And thank you so much for your time today to ADU. I will begin asking um, you about ANSYS. Now, ANSYS is an engineering simulation software solutions company, and it is based out of America, as, uh, as we know. So it has branched out itself in many significant areas. So from you, we would like to know the areas of working of ANSYS in India and the Southeast, uh, South Asia Pacific region. Okay. Uh, good morning, Chaitali. And first of all, my pleasure and honor to be part of this interview. Uh, uh, going back, uh, as you rightly said, ANSYS is a 50-year-old company. We are uh, market leaders worldwide in the space of simulation, uh, it, which is an engineering software. And in India, we started our operation over uh, more than two decades back. And primary, you know, we were uh, not of, uh, in the country directly. But uh, over the last uh, 15 years, uh, we have established uh, our direct operation. And, and uh, we started with our uh, Pune office, which was one of the first development center in Pune. And we slowly expanded it to uh, Bangalore, uh, you know, uh, Noida, and uh, Chennai, and other parts of uh, India, correct? Uh, of course, we have operation in ASEAN. Uh, and in ASEAN, you know, each country, Singapore, Thailand, Vietnam, Indonesia is a different one. And we also manage Australia and New Zealand from this region. Uh, for this, uh, this discussion, I will try to focus mostly on India. Uh, and uh, basically, uh, we, we work with, uh, uh, you know, all the manufacturing sectors uh, in India, uh, starting from automotive, which is our uh, key and primary market. Uh, as you know, there's a lot of uh, uh, disruption happening with electrification and all. Then our second biggest important uh, segment, which we are talking now, is aerospace and defense. And of course, then we work with uh, uh, you know a lot of other industries, including semiconductor and uh, healthcare and industrials. And of course, very very closely uh, with academia. As far as uh, uh, defense industry is concerned, uh, you know we uh, we are very fortunate. Uh, from the beginning of uh, start of the uh, uh, our uh, aerospace and defense program in India, uh, ANSYS has been working with all the defense lab, namely the ISROs, the DRDOs, and uh, uh, DPSUs. Uh, but I'm very happy to uh, tell you that apart from this, uh, you know, government uh, in recent past has launched a lot of uh, uh, outsourcing programs. So we are working a lot on that. And uh, we are also working on... Uh, uh, you know, a lot of uh, skill skill development program for aerospace and defense, uh, you know, starting various training institutes and collaboration, uh, and two of which uh, we are uh, launching, uh, you know, today with the uh, Honorable Minister. Yeah. So this is, uh, this is a, a, a brief background. Uh, the, the technology which we use is basically helps, uh, you know, uh, India to become self-reliant, basically, uh, if you're trying to uh, import any any kind of a defense system, 
you know, there's a lot of uh, design, uh, engineering, and manufacturing involved in that. And by by kind of using our technology, uh, the all the defense lab, uh, uh, you know, are able to uh, design, you know, the same defense systems and programs. Uh, what what the world class uh, U.S. or European, uh, you know, space and defense uh, industry may be using, you know. So I think we are giving the best tools and technology for our defense labs uh, to launch, uh, you know, their programs or satellites or missiles. Uh, you know, all, all these are, uh, you know, are very very uh, important uh, uh, for all these space programs to use uh, technology like ANSYS. Yeah? Since you started talking about the self reliance, the self reliance, yeah. Atmanirbharta, that is the yeah. mantra nowadays, not nowadays. I mean, 10 years back, uh, the government's agenda for the aerospace and defense industry was completely different what we see now. Yeah. Now, there have been a lot of um, initiatives, like some are good, some are, some are good for the industry, definitely. In fact, most of them are good, like banning yeah. the imports, changing the procurement policies of the government. So how do you think these kind of initiatives can push an industry, push the industry like ANSYS higher, or are they going to prove any hurdles for you? Yeah, so I think uh, I, uh, Chitali, this is a good question. I look everything in a very positive way. I, I think it is uh, not only uh, good for the Indian aerospace defense industry, but uh, the entire uh, MSME uh, or the small scale industry or the suppliers, uh, and in, in this suppliers, there, there might be some big companies like BHL or LNT can also be involved, uh, or Bharat Forge and all. But but the the more, more importantly, uh, the MSME uh, will also benefit a lot. And of course, uh, you know, companies like uh, Ansys uh, 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 will also get an opportunity because uh, not only now the government uh, defense lab, which were already using our uh, are using our software very very extensively. But as I attend more and more, uh, uh, you know, like uh, the partnership meet between the defense lab and the suppliers, I get to know and I get to hear, I was two weeks back in Bangalore in uh, in a lab uh, which was celebrating its 50th anniversary and uh, ANSYS being a strategic uh, uh, partner, they invited their all suppliers and very clearly the director of that lab uh, is expecting uh, all these suppliers to step step up in terms of uh, investment in design uh, and manufacturing, and they are not expecting them just to do a small component and supply that small part or component, but uh, if required, a full product or a full system, uh, and and which is which is very good. Uh, so th that is the positive part of it. Uh, the 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 area of improvement, which naturally I saw a lot of suppliers asking and it's a natural question and it is a work in progress uh, for both the government and the defense lab and the supplier is the suppliers want to know uh, you know what is the outflow or what are the kind of projects uh, long term projects uh, they will be getting and uh, a, a long term commitment uh, for for manufacturing and if that kind of commitment is known uh, then the suppliers uh, community uh, can invest uh, because they know, uh, you know, they will have a, a pipeline of orders coming in and they will start acquiring uh, technologies uh, uh, which will be, uh, which, which they can, uh, uh, you, know, you know, which takes sometimes a longer time. And, and, and it is a, a, a kind of a balancing thing because the government can't tell everything because a lot of the, the projects are, are critical in nature, uh, are sensitive in nature. So government has to kind of, uh, uh, you know, cannot also divulge all the details. So I think uh, uh, there is a balance going on. And I think the, all the defense lab and the directors are aware of it. And I think this, this balancing uh, is something, uh, uh, area of improvement and which uh, the industry is working on. Yeah, uh, Our job is uh, to enable all the suppliers uh, of uh, all these different programs uh, and not necessarily run out uh, to uh, you know Americans or European consultant to to you know do expensive consultancy uh, and design uh, uh, of the product which is uh, and system which is the government is expecting them to make you know uh, I think ANSYS with our product and our technology uh, uh, can uh, help them and enable 
uh, using uh, those technology to uh, you know uh, design uh, all the products which is expected out of the defense labs yeah right now very nicely put of course but now i'll narrow it down to more to answers well there is no dearth of um, talent or uh, technology in india and of course with um, government promoting more startups more msmes and um, small time uh, even the junior uh, section uh, the junior sec- uh, the junior sector the junior population of india more and more startups are coming up every day so how is going how is answers going to compete with all of them because now everybody has a chance everybody has a chance to work for these technologies for the government for the indian defense sector also what is the unique thing that what is so unique about answers that we should be looking forward to okay i i think it's a very good question uh, and first of all uh, you know in a way we are not uh, competing uh, uh with all the startup because uh, uh we are enabling and helping helping all the uh, startups now i think we already in recent past saw some uh, startup uh, company you know doing some test launches and all uh and we are very very proud so i first of all i i need to acknowledge and appreciate uh, and acknowledge your question that the startup uh, space in india suddenly uh, over the last uh, few years thank to the prime ministers uh, and all the ministries uh, effort uh, is kind of uh, uh, you, you you know doing very very well there is a very good ecosystem uh, being built up for startup to encourage them uh, be it funding uh, you know be it technically supporting them be it mentoring them and and, and i think which is very very positive so uh, it is it is just not like uh, the startup coming in only the internet uh, space and and aggregation uh, stays uh, which is what was initially happening uh, with some of the startup company some of them ended up uh, becoming uh, unicorns but but what is interesting and uh, very positive is in the last few years a lot of engineering engineering startups are coming engineering and manufacturing startups are coming and uh, they they are coming up uh, in in aerospace and defense also so i was in in chennai uh, 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 two weeks back and you know uh, iit incubation iit madras uh, incubation uh, center has a in house uh, startup company called e plane you know we have seen sky route we have seen jas we have seen beltrax uh, you know in the west side uh, you know we have seen emergence of consumer startup like uh, atomberg and uh, you know air purification startup like pran so a lot of these uh, engineering startups are coming and uh, ansys has a unique program uh, to kind of uh, help uh, and give our very expensive technology uh, which can only be bought by big companies or, or uh, big defense lab uh, to to be made this technology is available to startup community also at a very attractive uh, packaging and pricing uh, basically uh, it's like almost like uh, we are working as if they are a research academic institute and and our pricing and supporting and hand holding to them uh, is in that sense uh, and uh, it is it is very heartening and a very proud feeling that uh, ansys is enabling and making a lot of these startup companies very very successful so yes uh, you you are right uh, there is a lot of action happening in the startup space including engineering startups and and startup in aerospace and defense not just the general uh, internet uh, based startup companies yeah exactly so uh, while you were well uh, when we began the interview you already told that ansys has been working with uh, uh, some uh, the labs the drdo the isro and these kind of labs um tell me something is answers already providing this, uh, any solutions to our indian defense forces is it already uh, are you already there in the market with the defense forces yeah so i think that's a very good question i, I as i said uh, you know uh, be it uh, space application center be it uh, you know this is a part of isros and the drdo labs uh, all the defense lab uh we are very very extensively uh involved correct uh and, and kind of uh, uh you know you you name any important projects uh, and I, i i i think as a as a part of the nda i i, I would not like to mention all the programs but but uh, but but i i would uh, very happily uh, 
uh, or uh, you know proud to say that uh, we are involved with all our major defense lab and uh, and all the major projects uh, be it a, a space program be it the missile program uh, be it the you know the the the, the manufacturing programs uh, you know uh, uh, we we are engaged uh, engage uh, with uh, all the programs uh, we, we satellite programs drone programs uh, we we are engaged uh, with uh, all, all the major programs uh, in aerospace defense industry and we have also started working with uh, uh, some of the incubation uh, you know uh, centers uh, like uh, you know which uh, in space which has been founded uh, by government of india uh, to promote, uh, uh, you know, uh, make a living level uh, playing field for, for private companies uh, to work closely with uh, all the defense lab. Uh, we are uh, working with, uh, you know, all all, all the startup uh, uh, community uh, uh, in India. Yeah. So to answer your question, yes, uh, we are very very actively working, and uh, it, it is a very very important uh, and strategic market for us, not only in India but globally. Right. Now, turning back again to the industry and the startups that we were talking about. So, uh, as you mentioned that you are working with this, uh, with other startups as well. So, what kind of liaison it is between Answers and the other startups that you're working? What is the kind of work that you're doing with them? Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Let, let, let me give you an example uh, of one startup. Uh, 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 like say a, a startup company like Atomberg, which is in uh, you know consumer fans, and they are now coming up in home appliances. And if, if you look at our traditional uh, uh, fan, uh, uh, and, and I will not be able to give you the ex exact metric, uh, 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 and I'm just say say suppose uh, you know if if uh, a fan needs a ten unit uh, to run uh, you know electricity ten unit, I'm saying. Uh, almost actually 60 to 70 percent of that unit is wasted and only you know the fan actually the motor needs on only 30 percent uh you know unit uh, to to run that and, and if you look at our traditional fan you know for past multiple decades uh it, it is just the same correct uh, uh clumsy sometimes make noise and sometimes the uh, aerodynamics of the fan goes haywire but uh, you know, Atomberg is coming out with uh, electric, uh, uh, you know, motor and some of the technologies used by Ansys, which actually el eliminates totally all the, uh, the 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 electricity unit which is getting wasted. So uh, and because of that, the electricity bill uh, is almost uh, uh, you know like thirty to forty percent less. And so you you can uh, you can uh, you can imagine like you know if there are millions and millions of fans in India uh, and, and even if ten percent of them uh, go into you know this kind of a power saving mode, you know what what is the impact uh, it is making to the environment and sustainability? So a lot of these startup companies which we are working or the programs which we are working, uh, be it defense or a lot of startup companies, just not like helping the startup or the defense lab to cut down the cycle time of a space program or, or a satellite program, uh, but, but make the product reliable, make it uh, cost eff uh, eff uh, effective, uh, and also like, like make it uh, very, very reliable and able to you know, execute the mission. So, so I think apart from that, you know, like while doing that, when we are making very less number of prototypes, because in a product like ANSYS simulation, you you kind of end up doing the design and simulation in such a way that you are designing the product first time right virtually. And when you're designing the product first time right virtually, then you you save a lot of time and cost making the prototype and learning from the prototype, running that, and then you learn the mistake and then again go back and design change. Here you make a product first time right, and and the kind of uh, in the process the amount of uh, carbon footprint uh, saving which is happening. Uh, and I was giving you an example of uh, Atomberg. We are making uh, you know our uh, Earth uh, more sustainable, and you know there's another example of a company called Pran, which is kind of making a a, a filterless uh, a purifier, uh, you know. Uh, systems and 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 it can be put in factories. It can be put in 
busy uh, uh, busy uh, polluted street or 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 malls and and kind of suck in all the impurities and uh, you know so so you know i think uh, again there is a lot of uh, ansys technology being used so i just gave you a few example of how our technology uh, is not only uh, uh, helping our customers and lab to save time uh, you know drive the product on uh, project uh, in the right time uh, improve quality but also uh, you know uh, having uh, you know impact on the carbon footprint and sustainability which is very very important yeah so for the aerospace and defense specifically this sector are you collaborating with any startups because i just got to know about the dhruva the dhruva aerospace um, success story that you you were collaborating yeah. with them so are there any more that you are doing uh, you are collaborating with any more startups uh, like that yeah so i i, I think that uh, you know to 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 i think that may not be uh, i i will twist the question i i would say uh, you know there is not a single startup in the aerospace defense uh, or any engineering startup uh, that we are not uh, not working so i al- already uh, mentioned you uh, some of the startup uh, including skyroot and uh, eplane and uh, bellatrix uh, aerospace and jas uh, and they are many others uh, which we are working yeah so we are very very active uh, we engage with all, all the uh, startup uh, significant startup uh, in the aerospace and defense uh, industry yeah so now we come to something uh, which is yeah. very unique about ansys the yeah. working working with the universities and students uh, yeah. this this is something that i saw on the website most yeah. of the industry websites have uh, uh, the regular features uh, of uh, products yeah. careers etc etc which yeah. is regular but here yeah. on the website it was a very clear cut um, uh, drop down was universities universities yeah. students students portal things like this so yeah. what is this um, initiative of answers working with yeah. universities and students yeah i i think this uh, this topic is very close to my heart uh you did mention uh, that yes. on my on my personal friend uh, uh, front uh, i am been associated with uh, you know charitable work uh, i was the chairman of aga khan education service india uh, a while back i am not currently just to uh, update that uh, so uh, you know in my in my young days uh, and until now like for over for more than two decades i have worked uh, for a charity organization and i have pa- uh, traveled uh, across uh, across uh, you know every corner of uh, india and i uh, and the other day also uh, you know uh, last weekend i was with my wife uh, on a hill station and we saw some very talented uh, kids over there and what we were discussing and what the point i'm trying to drive is uh, you know india or or the smart kids are not in just the iits or the top uh institutions you know they are in in tier 2 cities tier 3 cities and villages also the problem uh, the problem which a big country like us and we all know about demographic dividend the youngest population uh, uh, you know which india has an advantage is the access access to quality education so every child and every kid in this country is very talented it is not just the the students uh, who have access to very good coaching classes uh and mentors and they get into uh, the top uh, academia so so uh, uh you know that that is on the personal side so i'm very passionate about that uh i was supposed to be a school uh, dropout uh, but but because i got uh, you know i was blessed to complete my education i i feel it is it is an opportunity to give back to society to give back to india that that is on the personal side but i think ansys has even more uh, you know uh bigger goal and that is what uh, you know attracts me towards and that's why i love uh, company uh, working for ansys because because it genuinely if you look at the core of ansys and the way that the our technology was developed uh, you know from 50 years back you know lot of the inputs have come to our our software improvement from the academia and professors and research work happening in top academia uh, around the world so i think it it is a two way play uh, you know more driven from ansys uh, ansys respects uh, that uh, the future and the development of our technology uh, uh, you know will come uh, from a lot of research work uh, happening in a lot of the top academia so 
ANSYS has invested uh, and working very, very closely with all the top, like Cargini, Milan, uh, Harvard, MIT's, a- every top university in the world. We are working very, very closely. And, you know, I, I, I was fortunate to, you know, uh, combine my passion and my charitable work, which I've been doing with ANSYS vision. Uh, and, and, you know, that is what uh, we are working very, very uh, closely. So, uh, you know, I personally, uh, you know, to, to the objective is, is if you look at it now, any student which pass out, any engineering student pass out, be it IIT or the top academia or private engineering college, you know, they, they come out as a, as a product, which we mostly having a theoretical knowledge and what the industry is, is asking is way ahead. It is 10, 15, 20 years ahead. And the curriculum and the syllabus was the students are doing, uh, there is a big gap. So there's this skill gap of what the industry, like, let me give an example. Like when I, you know, a few years back, I had met a CTO of a big industrial company in India, in Pune. And he said, you know, we take about eight to nine months, uh, sometimes 12 months to, to kind of, uh, you know, train the freshly graduated uh, student, you know, uh, and, and then they become, uh, and this company, you know, is say Cummings. And, and, uh, you know, uh, and then they said, okay, we want to increase the diversity ratio also, you know, so then we, we worked out with the CTO of Cummings then, and, you know, the Cummings College of Engineering, we set up a, a, a center of excellence and all the, uh, you know, things which uh, is Cummings futuristic projects, which Cummings was working, was put into the engineering elective and courses in the Cummings Engineering College in Pune. And the girls were running, uh, you know, learning about all the latest technologies, answers, and what is needed by Cummings uh, for making their futuristic project, be it electrification or, or you know, good quality engines, uh, uh, which will can uh, save, uh, you know, like uh, help in carbon footprint. Uh, uh, and then, then the diversity. So year boom, you know, uh, as soon as the girl student pass out, they are all ready. So this is just one example. We have many such we have this uh, kind of uh, skill development centers with HAL, we have with uh, uh, ISRO, we have uh, with, with, with uh, you know, we have a tremendum uh, with uh, one of the defense lab, we have a training uh, uh, thing, uh, we have it ARI. Uh, so we, we are trying to, uh, and even the colleges and university, we, we donate our software and set up, uh, 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 you know, the centers and with, with the you know uh, uh, with uh, Minister Honorable Minister Rajiv Chandrasekhar, uh, today we will launch uh, two more uh, initiatives, uh, uh, which you may be aware. Uh, one is we are launching a portal, online portal on ANSYS innovation space, and then uh, with uh, in collaboration with IEEE, uh, which you mentioned in the beginning of interview, a skill development center in Reva University, Bangalore. So it'll, uh, it'll, it you know these are the kind of initiatives. Uh, ANSYS is trying to do uh, across the world and in India. I am sorry, it is a long answer, but... No, uh, I I would like to continue with that because since you mentioned about uh, the new initiatives that you're going to launch here, we would like to talk more about them if you could tell some more details about these uh, initiatives that you are launching uh, at the India. Because um, till now we were discussing what ANSYS has been doing uh, on a global platform. Yeah. Let's let's narrow it down to the India since we are talking about India. So if you can tell us more about these initiatives in India. Yeah, so I think this is a very, very, uh, very, very uh, interesting. Uh, uh, I, I'll talk about the, the first, uh, the, the ANSYS innovation space, a, hmm. a portal, you know, yes. uh, where we have more than 270 award winning uh, online, uh, you know, physics and engineering courses in electronics, photonics, and a lot of other uh, application, all the engineering application uh, and the disruptive new technologies which are happening in the world today, correct? All these courses are available, 270 plus courses are available free of cost to kind of not only student, but anybody say, uh, you know, I'm a a, a diploma engineer, I'm doing the same job for the last 20 20 years and I'm not uh, improving and I'm not getting new, job prospect, I'm working only on, uh, you know, 2D drawing or AutoCAD. But but suppose I, I, I'm i a fresh student and I want to be industry ready and get a good job. Then the student can go on this online portal, 
get a free ANSYS student license. And then based on his, uh, you know, time, like, uh, you know, uh, pick up a topic uh, of say, I, I want to take, uh, learn something on uh, RF antenna, antenna design, or I want to take a course on 5G. So based on the course, which he picks up, it can be anywhere from one hour to eight hour course. And it will be having a theory, practicals, assignments, uh, video courses. So it is, it is not only just meant for students, but it is also meant for uh, professional to upskill uh, themselves. Uh, and, you know, like, so it's a mix of theory and mix of practical, uh, mix of uh, technology, uh, uh, mix of lecture. And, and like, you, you, you almost feel like you are physically, uh, you know, uh, going, physically attending uh, this course. So the beauty, I said that there are a lot of uh, talented students in India. So I don't mind any student in uh, northeast of India or remote part of Rajasthan or remote part of Gujarat or Punjab or Jammu Kashmir. As long as he has got a, you know, he can log on to this portal, uh, 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 a, a talented student, uh, which I was saying, the challenge in India is access to quality education. And maybe he has doing, done an a engineering course course or a diploma course from a basic college and he's not got the best of the grades uh, maybe because the faculty was not good or you know he he could not attend all the lectures for because he's doing work and everything everything but if you have done this course and then you put it on your resume uh, you know he, 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 he it becomes very uh, very very uh, you know he he's upskilling and he's making uh, much more uh, you know lucrative uh, for the industry uh, to to be hired, you know, so so uh, you know, uh, and the second program with uh, Honorable Minister, uh, 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 which we are launching today, is the uh, you know Center of Excellence uh, uh, with uh, I spoke about the Skill Development Center, which is specifically focusing on radio frequency and microwave. So a lot of work in the defense industry and automotive industry and 5G. Uh, you know, this if the and we have launched this with uh, IEEE. We are very thankful to them. Uh, so, so you know, this this skill development center. This is more like a physical center, uh, and students can come here. Maybe you know, fifteen hundred plus uh, students can uh, uh, come, and professional can learn. Come to this uh, university and learn uh, uh, this advanced course on radio frequency and microwave engineering. Yeah, and this this program will be given by the best in class facility. So we we are doing both this online and offline maybe the online has more reach uh, and offline you know be, uh, need base and uh, very specific uh, uh, specific thing and so these are two of the things we are launching later today with the honorable minister uh, yeah going on the same lines uh, like once the courses are done so what after that i mean is answers going to help these students or professionals to uh, be incorporated in the industry, in the defense industry, in the aerospace industry later on? Yes, yeah, so I think if you look at it, uh, you know, our job and responsibility uh, as a company is to first is to, to, you know, sell our product, promote our product and enable and, and be part of this uh, Atman Nirbhar Bharat and Skill India, Upskill India. Now I think uh, uh, I think because we, we 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 are not running a company recruitment company and they, there are companies and and say maybe Reva uh, uh, maybe calling a lot of pro professional company and uh, as uh, uh, you know they they do campus interview huh? you know mm. so the students uh, he, he, uh, he say okay you know I have done my engineering in uh, mechatronics and uh, mechanical engineering and by the way I have done this. Uh, this course on ANSYS uh, in the center of excellence, his 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 uh, his probability and chances of getting hired is uh, much more uh, much more uh, uh, you know higher because because that's what immediately the company which is hiring. So I I think our job is to enable. Uh, we will not be uh, becoming uh, uh, because that is uh, that is not our competency. Correct. There are. There are uh, organizations and people who are expert in that area. Uh, our job is to, uh, you know, give our tools uh, at almost like a you're in this kind of two programs which I mentioned uh, at a negligible cost. Uh, 
uh, or no cost uh, and and give all the uh, training content and curriculum teach the professor and and then they do it and so i think we we are limiting ourselves uh, till that and of course uh, of course uh, if we go get to know some uh, references when we are selling our software to big companies like ge honeywell or tata motors or ashok leyland and they say hey you know what we need some uh, rf uh, and microwave engineering students or or uh, you know engineers so we can always say hey why don't you go to reva so in that sense uh, we we will uh, we will help but i think Re- the primary owners is on, on reva and uh, you know uh, the other agencies uh, which are there yeah uh, i so, i hope uh, you got yeah so yeah. if if i understand it correctly answers through these programs through the universities and the students programs that you're running is not only a corporate social responsibility it also enhances your uh, the research and development sector that answers has been uh, continuously uh, trying to increase enhances technology and the softwares yeah our our job is um, our job what we are trying to do is skill india upskill skill and upskill and help help our prime minister vision of atmanirbhar bharat and otherwise uh, otherwise this gap which is there between what what the students getting passed out and what the industry need is a huge gap i think we we are playing a role over there by uh you know giving our technologies and tool and skilling uh, students on new technologies like 5g uh, you know industrial internet uh, digital twin uh, you know uh, you know electrification adas you know all these new disruptive technologies which are happening in the world uh, we are enabling uh, students uh, 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 to to learn and know about these technologies yeah right finally uh, mr sumani my last question to you the future plans of answers Five years down the lane, what do you see answers in? Where do you see answers in the aerospace and defense sector in India? Yeah, I think uh, you know, I, I uh, uh, not necessarily from Indian perspective. I think I'll go from the context of uh, our global uh, vision and strategy. Uh, maybe if we are two billion dollar company, we naturally we want to be a five billion dollar company. Uh, but our broader thing is. i think simulation has become so pervasive and so critical and if you look at any product maybe we are talking through uh, this laptop and uh, you may have a ipad or a desktop or maybe mobile or car any any sophisticated product you see around yourself uh, which is making or improving quality of life uh you know uh, ansys product is there in that product and technology and and, and while we say that currently simulation is only used by so called like a perception no no you have to be an expert uh, you have to be a simulation engineer uh, you have to be mtech you have to be phd uh, you know so i am trying to say like maybe uh, any engineering company you look at it maximum 10 to 15 to 20% engineers use simulation ansys vision is that we believe uh, we strongly believe that every engineer uh, uh, can use simulation you know and and we are driving our product and technology in such a way that without losing the sophistication or the accuracy or what we call as the fidelity of the results we are making our software easier and easier and faster to run uh, be it cloud or you know uh, using improving our algorithm uh, and even on a basic computer uh, uh we have technologies like discovery uh where even the engineer uh, or even a iti graduate uh, can use and when everybody uses simulation then naturally the quality of the product the innovation in the product uh and the cost of the product the reliability of the product the time to market of the product the sustainability the material uh, sustainable material use you know everything will get so impacted that uh, uh uh it will help uh, not only the companies but not only the individuals the engineer but but the the consumer the end consumer will get better product uh, uh and and uh, you know we will also have a uh, impact on uh, sustainability and carbon footprint so the, the, you know that is our vision that uh, instead of 10 15 20 percent of engineer using simulation software we believe uh, that every engineer can use uh, ansys 
Right. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Samani. It was uh, a great interaction with you where we definitely uh, got to know the two different aspects of answers as one as an industry and one as an R&D, completely R&D sector that you are trying to enhance the technological capabilities as much as possible. It was really great speaking to you and knowing a lot about the company and the initiatives that you're taking up. We really hope that we keep on doing you and just keep on doing the good work as well as what you are doing in the social causes over the India. And we hope to see you again and meet you again and talk about more um, about answers and the more technological issues later on. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank, thank you very much. And my pleasure and honor. Yeah? Thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah.